Good morning students, parents and staff. It's Monday the 3rd of August and so this is really your August and welcome back to school newsletter. And it's all been a little while since I've been in touch but we've all been working very hard in the background, particularly the senior leadership team and the staff to bring you the online teaching platform Beaton House Schooling Uninterrupted. And a lot of hard work has gone into that to maintain the quality of those classes. Now the thing that you really want to hear is when are we going to restart the school? Well I can just tell you that uh, the virtual classes are scheduled to restart on the 10th of August. Okay, So that's the virtual classes for the 10th of August. And at the moment school is scheduled to physically reopen on the 15th of September. That's the current date. So the big thing to assure you of, and obviously what our, our main priority will be, and, and you could argue our, our sole priority, will be the safety of the students and the staff when we physically reopen the school. And that will mean that when we receive them from the education department and from Beacon House head office that we will be rigidly following the SOPs with regard to hygiene, safety, wearing of masks, uh, taking of temperatures. We will record a little tutorial for you so that you're aware of, of what you'll need to do in the morning and uh, where you can drop your son or daughter and at what point that you'll have to stop um, outside the chain link fence. But we will do all of that for you. But the main thing, of course, is that we will do our utmost to ensure that the school is safe for operation and it's safe for you to send your son and daughter to the school. Uh, uh, we will follow those SOPs correctly. You can rest assured that that will happen. So let's see when that's going to be. I'll, obviously we'll, we'll all know the date soon enough, but I think and I hope that that time is fast approaching. I do have a general staff meeting with staff this week uh, where I'll be setting out my priorities for the year. Um, and giving a recap on how I think Newlands is doing um, and, and how far we've come and, and what we've achieved. This is actually our 10th year, uh, coming into our 10th year of operation, which is uh, quite fantastic. And despite the, the, the virus, we've actually had over 200, well over 200 now, registrations for the coming year. Half of those are for A-levels, which is um, an incredible achievement and just shows you how far that we've come with the A-level section and our results um, reflected in the school progress overall. Now, well, I think one thing I'm, I'm very, very pleased about in my time that I've been here, which is coming up for three years, is just how much I, and how pleasing it's seeing the school pull together and I, you know, when I look outside my office window and see the students playing, see visitors arriving, I'm very much aware now that of the, of the community that Newlands has become. And I think this is what persuades people to come here. That, you know, and I often say to those prospective new parents and students when they do arrive, and we're chatting outside my office, I just say, look, you know, if it feels right, you know, it gen generally is right, and this is the right school for you to come to. So that work will continue, and nothing has changed. Uh, when this school does reopen, it's business as usual, and that's the serious business of making this school one of the very best in the country, uh, and that will continue undiminished. And another thing you'd like to know, which I had confirmed in an earlier video is that we are introducing the IB's middle years program um, in the coming academic session in grades five and six. All the senior leadership team has undergone its rigorous and comprehensive online training 
and we're very much looking forward to rolling out the MYP. And I think it's greatly significant that the directors, the owners, the management of, in head office have had the confidence um, and have taken the brave decision at such a difficult time to introduce um, and invest, because now's the time to do it. And I think if we have one eye on the future for what Pakistan needs, then we need the boys and the girls to receive the right level of training um, and for us to equip them with the skills that they require to become Pakistan's leaders tomorrow. Uh, that's exceptionally important, and that's what we do here. So that training's finished, and uh, we'll be giving you news and more orientation on that when we have it. Um, and just finally, as a, as a reflection on how far the school has come, I think when I, when I first arrived, um, you know, my boss was saying to me, well, you know, Newlands has got all these fantastic facilities, but, but we never seem to win much um, on the sporting front. Well, I can say that that has now changed because thanks to the arrival of Serish Nawaz, our distinguished uh, sports coordinator and um, sportswoman woman extraordinaire, just last year we got... Um, in first place, we came first on 29 occasions. So that's 29 trophies that we won last year. We came second 13 times, and we came third eight times. Well, Newlands isn't really about coming third. It's about really first. Uh, so, and we've done that. And we've done it so much that we're actually having to build an extensive uh, trophy cabinet on the other side of the wall next to me. So that's part of what happens here at this school um, and why I believe and why I've always said this is a very special school and a very special community which we should be proud to be part of. So students, we miss you very much. We know that you miss school and you probably very grudgingly now admit that. And parents, you've been so wonderful. We thank you for your support. We do understand how difficult these times are economically, uh, but we very much want you to remain part of Newlands and to give your child the best possible start that they can have in life. So we will see you soon and maintain the routine that's keeping you safe. Don't drop your guard. Take care. Thank you.